everybody, I'm the Bigglesworth, and welcome back to SevTech Agents. Hanging out here in the courtyard with my good buddy, the Work Pig. How you doing, Work Pig? You're looking for work, aren't you? <laughs> well, if I have any pressing issues, I will make sure to bring them right to you, okay? So in last episode, we did a little bit of work on the chateau, got a little bit of area set up in here, and got these different presses going. And now we're getting close to where we're going to have to experiment with the totemic stuff. But let's see here. There was one more thing. I had made a cart, but there was something else that I wanted to check before we got going. It was making these, wasn't it? We wanted to make gears. Use your knowledge of the wheel to make a gear so maybe we could start milling around instead of quit milling around. Nope, that, that, that. There we go. So, gears. Gears are made, oh, with buffalo teeth. So we have to do the totemic stuff, a saw. I don't have a saw. Better with mods. Hmm, okay. Is there other ways to craft it? Yeah, just those three right there. And that's the only way. So we need four buffalo teeth and planks to do that. So we are we are now stuck. We must do totem stuff to move forward. So let us grab the totempedia and let's go over here for some good reading. Our nice themed area for totempedia. And we can also use this area to control the sun. Maybe even rain as well. <laughs> that would be great. So let's see here. The Totempedia, a guide to all your totemic needs. Totemic basics. Buffaloes and the red cedar tree. And then there's a back arrow right there. The mighty buffalo, an animal which is known across the lands for all of the resources it can grant. They are incredibly sturdy and have a very large amount of health. Ooh, so they can be tough to, to fight. Hunting has left them nearly extinct, but they can be created with the Man Mandan Buffalo Dance Ceremony. Okay. And then the Red Cedar Tree is a large tree that has magical properties, so its wood is especially useful for carving totem poles out of it. It can be attained, obtained by infusing mundane saplings with musical energy in the Zephgil Waltz Ceremony. I don't even know what that means. I guess a mundane, what would be a mundane sapling? Let's let's check that real quick. Is a mundane sapling, do they mean it's just, it's not magical? Nope, there's no mundane. So I guess just a regular sapling is what they mean. So we'll back out of that. And let's see here. Musical instruments. Okay, we got a flute. Sometimes a flute can be one of the most simple and effective instruments available. Unlike other instruments, the flute simply plays music without any complication. Because of its simplicity, it is not known to be the most melodic instrument, meaning that totems may not accept very much of the melody. When sneaking, it can be used to select a ceremony for any nearby totem poles. Let's check that out. Let's grab the flute. Now, if I right-click on it, plays a little bit of music. If we sneak, no, it's not letting me. Hmm, okay. Just a little lag spike. Boop. There we go. Okay, so let's see what, what else we got here. Oh, is there more? The flute can be infused in the ceremony of flute imbuation, giving it special properties. That's probably what we have to do. And then a wind chime is an instrument that will wave in the wind and periodically produce musical melody. The wind chime cannot have any blocks below it and must be hanging from a block above it. While the wind chime does not create a large amount of musical melody, it does not require any intervention by players. It's not rare to see wind chimes hanging from the branches of leaves. There have been rumors that it could make them create more musical melody. Mm-hmm. So you have to put the wind chimes in the trees. Uh-oh. We clicked the wrong button. Go back here. Um, do, 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 do. Musical melody. Okay. When the wind chime is playing, it will shake vigorously and create music. Because the music from the wind chime is so easy to come by, it does not take much of it before the maximum amount of musical melody is reached. And then how to make wind chimes. Blocks, okay, we don't even, we, yeah, we don't have iron yet. <laughs> a rattle is an instrument which has been a backbone of ceremonies for as long as totemists have been known. The rattle produces musical melody whenever it's been shook with the hand. Okay, we've done that before. It can be used in dual wield. If you hold the rattle in your right hand, you can have another instrument in your left hand and play both at the same time. 
Like all instruments, it can be played while sneaking so as to activate ceremonies. Okay. And then, okay, and then we've already made that. So that's good to go. A jingle dress. One of the most prestigious pieces of clothing available for any totemus. It's a leaf dress of normal bells. Running around will cause it to play music to all nearby totem poles. They say the faster you run, the more music it creates, and a speed potion increases it even further. The sound of this instrument is highly melodic, meaning that it produces a large amount if played correctly, and totems can also accept a high amount of musical melody from it. So I can make jingles. I know that I can get leaf blocks now. We're going to need to get buffaloes, so I don't have that. Whoa, okay. Okay. And a jingle dress. Oh, it makes a jingle dress. Oh, okay. So I can't make jingles. That's how to make jingles. I made something else. An eagle bone whistle. It's made from the bones of a bald eagle. Uh-oh. So we have to find ourselves a bald eagle. And as such, it's very powerful. It is necessary for more advanced ceremonies and actually considered more of a ceremonial object than a musical instrument. Okay, so those are all the things. So we've got three of the instruments. Totems and effect. These are the effects you can carve on a totem pole. Bat negates fall damage and lets you jump further when you sneak midair. Blaze gives you fire resistance. Buffalo makes you mine faster. Cow gives you resistance to damage but also slows you down. Enderman gives you night vision. Oh, that could come in handy. Horse gives you a speed boost. Awesome. Wow, okay, so... Oh, look at that. Pig brings you good luck. <laughs> okay, so what it looks like is that totems work like beacons in regular Minecraft. Allows you to carry a totem effect with you so you can use its benefits for a limited time without having to be near a totem pole. Awesome. So totems appear to be like beacons that we can create areas with a totem that are affected by uh, powers from the totem. But at the same time, a medicine bag would let us carry... Um, one of those things with us as well. So that's pretty cool. You? Where'd you go? <laughs> Doesn't matter. We're going to sleep anyway. We'll make it happen. And no fire in the fire pit. Okay, so let's check again. Ceremonies. We have a war dance, flute, the buffalo dance. That's probably what... So there's a bunch of different dances. There's tools, a bark stripper... It's a way for you to remove the bark from your red cedar logs and reveal stripped wood from the tree to do so. Yeah, okay, so we have one of those. I don't have iron yet, so we can't make that yet. Okay, Baycock? Baycock's bow is a powerful bow that can only be obtained by slaying the spirit. Baycock can be summoned with the chimes of death ceremony. Okay, so, okay, so I know I need to get that bow. So I think the first thing we need to do is a ceremony to make the uh, the buffalo show up, where the buffalo roam. As the white man came and took over the lands, he murdered almost all of the buffaloes that were once roaming the lands in large hordes. However, not all hope is lost. The Mandam Buffalo Dance Ceremony is able to give strength to nearby cows and turn, oh gosh, <laughs> turn them into buffaloes, although a weaker kind than those that were once native. But they will grow larger and stronger over time. Needs a decent amount of music. Avoid using red rags. Musical selectors. Huh? Okay. What's a war dance? It'll heighten your senses for incoming war and bring the adrenaline to your entire body. After performing a ceremony, it'll bring speed and strength for a long time, allowing you to rush into battle. So it lets you fight. Musical selectors is the drum. Needs little music. A convoluted game of chess. Huh. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get the drum. Come here, drum. Can I play you while holding you? If I sneak, will it let me play you? Nope. If I sneak. Ooh, something came out of that. Did you see that? Huh. So how do I choose which uh, ceremony thing to play? See, if I don't sneak and play it, nothing happens. 
Okay, I can hold down. I don't have to keep clicking. If I sneak, that comes out. Hmm. Let's check the book again. Clicking on this needs little music and musical selectors. I don't understand that. Let's back up. Is there instructions on how to do ceremonies? Tools miscellaneous, musical instruments. The ceremony of flute imbuation is a way to enchant a regular flute with melodic energy, giving it special properties. Nearby flutes in your inventory or on the ground will be infused with totemic energy. Uh oh, okay, so rolling my mouse scroll wheel scrolls through there as well. The timber of this infuse, infused flute is quite more melodic than a mundane flute. This means that animals and villagers cannot resist it. And will f oh, I could be a Pied Piper. <laughs> it, it, its effects on totems is more potent as well. Needs a decent amount of music. So it keeps saying effects on totems. So I wonder if I have to have a totem nearby for this thing to play. So let's check that. T-O-T-E-M. Totem. A totemic pole, a totemic base. Okay. Well, let's see here. Um, is there one made of oak? Maybe that one? Left clicking, right clicking. Okay, right clicking shows that to me. It can be made as fuel. No. How do you make one? Control? No, that's not showing me a recipe. A totem whittling knife. A knife for all your whittling needs. Sneak, right click, or scroll to change carving. Currently carving a totem base. Okay, so this needs flaked flint and a stick. So let's go make one of those. Maybe that's what we're going to have to do. Oh, and I didn't set up enough lighting. So uh, flaked flint. Where are you? Are you flaked flint? Flaked flint point. Okay, so we're going to need to make some more flint here. It's been a little while since... Oh, look, I didn't notice that. That 42 uses left. Okay. So we have a piece of flint. Let's flake it. Be flaky. Flaked flint. Okay, flaked flint and a stick. And what's weird is I've done this before. You put some uh, twine stuff here and it makes you a hatchet. But I never thought to make a, uh, a, a totem knife thing. So we're... Let's get this. And we'll run back over here. Oh, let's put this back. Because we're going to end up like last episode really, really quick. We're going to end up with our inventory just jacked up like crazy. And I didn't need that flint, but we'll bring it with us anyway. <laughs> so let's place you here. Now, what did it say to do? Sneak right click. Okay, so sneak. Oh, that's letting me choose the different... Um, Things it can be. Okay, so totem base. Let's go back to totem base. Squid, wolf, totem base. There we go. So left click maybe? Well, that didn't do jack squat. <laughs> so let's see here. Sneak, right click, or scroll to change carving. Yeah, but how do you use it? Maybe just regular right click? There we go. Okay. So now if I sneak, war dance. Okay, cool. Now it works. And the timer, is the timer filling up? Do I have to keep playing? Or was it just the two things that you play and make the war dance start? Let's find out. This might make me a crazy pig where I can go attack things really fast. Okay, so the, did that do anything? I don't feel different. Maybe I have to have a totem on top of that base. Let's check that. So totem pole. Right click on it. Crafting. Nope. Nope. Okay, so let's... We'll place you there. And we'll scroll through. So wolf, squid, spider, rabbit, pig. So these are going to be different aspects that we can attach to this, right? Let's do buffalo. Wait, let's let's check the book first. <laughs> Totems and effects. Totem effects. Makes you mine faster. Cow, enderman, horse. 
brings you good luck, gives you a jump boost. Oh my gosh, yes, let's try the spider one. That would be cool. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to scroll through here until we get... There's spider. Okay. And then right click. And then what does this do? Maybe I have to keep playing. <laughs> Piggy don't understand. This don't make no sense. I'm trying to do a war dance. I wonder if this thing has to be closer to the totem pole or maybe farther away. And then it did smoke. And nothing happened. Huh. Okay. So this isn't making a whole lot of sense to me. Um, let's consult the manual. Um, ceremonies. The buffalo dance. It's able to give strength. Okay, so we know that. Now, I can't make wind chimes. How do we make the wind chimes? Maybe there's a different recipe for wind chimes than the, uh, than the iron that's in the book. There is. Okay, okay. So the book comes with the mod, but it looks like this has been modified. Oh, get it? And mod was modified <laughs> so that we can uh, actually make this. So three sticks, a piece of flint, string, a bone, and sugar cane. I think I have all those things. So let's see here. Let's look around. And we're going to need to go ahead and plant a tree. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll just grab one of these. I'm going to plant a tree over here because it says that if you put the wind chimes in the tree, that's supposed to help it. So we'll get a tree going. We're going to get ourselves a cow and bring them over here with the uh, the wind chime as well. You know what? You know what, son? I've just about had enough of you. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. We need three sticks and a piece of flint. So let's go. Oh, I got sticks right there. Look at that. So you can go back there. I do need... No, there you go. I, gotta, I bet I got to pick those back up in just a second. So a piece of flint, okay. Inventory management with piggy. It's a whole. It's 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 its whole series is what it is. So we've got the sticks, the flint, and let's go get some sugar cane from outside. Actually, let's do this. Let's get the string, the string, a bone. Which one? There we go. And then let's go ahead and sleep. That'll make it safe. And then we can go outside and get the uh, the sugar cane. Spawn is to be set. Setting spawn. <laughs> We're going to figure this out eventually. This is going to start to make sense. And, th and then all of a sudden it'll completely make sense. And then we'll wonder, how did it ever not make sense in the first place? I might go ahead and have to make some uh, bone meal as well. Just just so we can get that tree to, to grow in uh, ample time. Let's go and grab ourselves some food here. So we're going to need two or three pieces. Let's just grab whatever sugar cane is here. I bet I have some sugar cane back in the uh, the chests, but I just don't, I don't want to have to search for them. I can't remember where I put them. So let's go ahead and craft ourselves a, uh, a wind chime. Oh, there you go. Jump in there. Oh gosh, I gotta make some more crafting bench things. I've only got this one left. They're a rare species, I tell you. So three sticks at the top. Let's get that knife out of the way. Who let Piggy run around with a knife? That wasn't smart. Kids don't run with knives. Don't do like Piggy did. So let's get a piece of flint here, string, a bone, and that. I think that's it. Awesome. Wind chimes. That's pretty cool. So let's go and get ourselves some bone meal over here. So, and I don't know if this works in this mod pack. We'll see if bone meal is going to let us get that tree to grow real fast. Oh gosh, you know what it's going to do? It's going. Yep, it's going to give us those little pieces first. Let's go ahead and grab that, and then grind this up. So much for doing off-camera prep stuff, right? Come on, you get ground. Oh, that's weird. I've never seen it where it splits it up like that in the two spots. 
I wonder if that's a glitch or something. So grab that. Are you glitching? Are you... No, grab it. Did it grab... Okay, so that gave me three pieces of bone meal. That was weird how that did that. So let's see here. Can you grow? Yes, awesome. So let's go ahead and put a wind chime. Nice. So let's see. We've got the wind chime and the drum. Needs a decent amount of music, I tell you. Now we're going to break you and bring you over here. Will it let us make noise? Oh, but the winds, the winds of change would have to be a blowing. And a wind of change. So let's go ahead and do this just in case we find any bad guys out there while we're running about. We need to make ourselves a little bit of a bridge so we can get the cow back. And we know where cows are because there was a hill of cows, a hill of cows and a hill of horses. But I think I'm going to have to, um, ah, I should have got two leads. I don't have the stuff for it. Or no, I do have the stuff for it. I don't have the stuff crafted for it. So we'll just, we'll do this the old fashioned way. But it would have been good if we had some leads. I could have got a horse and a cow and brought them both at the same time. So, and I haven't gotten any, I don't know why I haven't gotten these yet. Come on, you. Come with me. <laughs> if anything, just so we can say we collected one. We're going to run up the hill. We're getting our exercise for the day. Hey, cow. Hey, horse in a tree. Stop horsing around. <laughs> All right, come on, cow cannon. Let's go. Now, I, I can't remember which viewer it was, but they said I was holding the cow cannon the wrong way. You had to turn it around 180 degrees, and that would be a cow cannon. So it's a good thing I wasn't holding it right. and it would be disastrous. <laughs> but this cow, this cow apparently wants to be or maybe not even wants it do you want to become a buffalo do you know how to become a buffalo i should have put a gate on the back this is going to be so slow going oh what what was that you stinker <laughs> now hopefully that uh that creepers despawned i just thought about that if we try to drag this cow over here and the creepers are waiting to creep up on us we might have uh steaks and leather instead of a cow and then we'll never get our buffalo. So let's see here. Everything appears to be safe. Maybe since I'm holding the cow can in the wrong way, if anything sneaks up on the back of me, we can freeze the game. There we go. <laughs> All right, cow cannon, this is going to be your new home right here. There we go. Now we can... Oh, nice. I can walk a little faster on that. So put you down. The house has been invaded by the, uh, the goober patrol. We've got people playing trumpets now. <laughs> I couldn't have timed that any better if I wanted to. <laughs> so let's see here. Let's just place you right there. I don't know why I did that, but I felt like it was necessary. Come here, cow. Don't run away. Hey, cow, did you know that there were wind chimes? At <sighs> it won't let me blow them. Why is there no wind? Huh. Two. Three. Four. Well, it seemed like one of them was a, a bit louder for some reason. Hmm. So this might take a few minutes. So there might be an edit here in just a moment. Alrighty, so I went out and got myself another cow and put a fence around so these guys are trapped. They can't run around like crazy. <laughs> and went ahead and put the totem over here because I went and watched a video. Yes, I did. I try my best not to, but sometimes I have to. I've noticed this as well. Let's fill this up with a whole bunch of extra stuff. It seemed like this... Nope, there we go. Let's Let's get a bunch of stuff out of there. I think as you add more stuff, it changes. See, now the now the little 2 by 4 is missing. Hop out of there, Peggy. Hop out of there. Nope, I keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> there we go. So let's go ahead and put this, this, and that, and this, and a, and that, and this, and that, and a. There we go. We'll hold this. That thing's damaged. We don't need that for now, and I don't need that. I do want to hold on to that wheat, though. 
So in watching the video, I, I got to a certain point and then I just stopped. Hey, wind chimes, how you doing? Now the guy in the video was able to click the wind chimes and get them to play, but I can't get these things to play. But I'm having a link down in the description box so you can go see the video for yourself just, just so you can see it. It, it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but let's see here. So the first thing that he had was he didn't have a tree. He actually had like a branch kind of deal sitting like that. So let's go and do that. It still won't let me play it, but I don't know. It, that kind of looks cool. Looks like a branch on a tree. Okay, so if you have instruments far away from a totem, then it won't play. Watch, if it, now that it's close, doing two like that turns on the war dance, okay? And so now we have this timer playing, so watch. If I start playing, see how the blue wants to fill up? So what we have to do is fill up that upper bar before that lower bar completely fills up. For right now, we won't get our war dance, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and infuse a flute, because I think what it was saying was, if you have instruments that uh, have like higher power or whatever than, than the, the boring first level ones, that it will fill up that progress bar faster. So if we squat and play that twice, And now, okay, that's going to let us actually speed up. <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool. It almost feels like we're at, a, we're at an Indian uh, gathering or something. Keep going. Keep going. Did it work? Yes! So we've got an inf infused flute. So that like smoke stuff that I saw, saw happening, that was basically saying that the attempt had failed, not that something was working. So let's see here. How do we do the, the buffalo thing? So the other reason why I got two cows was because this guy said you could feed them wheat and they will make more buffalo. So I figured if we're going to go through all the trouble of getting some buffalo, let's get it where we can breed them and then we can have whatever we need. So Totempedia Ceremonies... The Mandan Buffalo Dance. Um, go through here. We need chimes. A chime and then a drum is what starts it. So here's, here's the way it works. I think you have to use the instrument to start the ceremony, and then you can use whatever instrument you want to fill up the power that's in the ceremony. Come on, chimes. Come on, chimes and play. Because we need to call the buffalo. This is where the buffalo roam. Or it's where they're going to roam. <laughs> so I guess that the chimes themselves are random. You don't know when they're going to play. But I have to wait. Now that we're playing a little bit earlier. That's what stinks is now they're not going to play when we need them to. So I tell you what. I'm going to wait here till these start playing. There's probably going to be one more little cut. So that... Uh, so that you aren't you all y'all aren't just sitting there watching me stand here like a goon forever. <laughs> Come on now, play you. Okay, so I tried out a few different things. I had the maracas. Nothing happened with the maracas. But I figured this out. If I squat and right click, it'll play. So let's see here. That, that, nope, that fails. That, that. There's the buffalo dance. Oh, you're going to be buffalo. Hopefully. <laughs> it's like a race to try and get that thing to fill up. Come on now. Oh, don't fail me now, piggy. <laughs> can, I, can I play the chimes as well? Maybe that will help me. All right, so let's do that. That, that. Nope, it's that, that. No, that's a war dance. We don't do it. Well, let's go ahead and do the war dance. Why not? Yeah, that doesn't fill up very fast either. <laughs> oh, it's because I keep squatting trying to play it. That's what's going on. Okay, so. There we go. Okay, so squat, that. Nope, that doesn't work. Drum, that. Okay. 
Why does it not let me play the drum sometimes? I guess like the hitbox or something, maybe? I guess if the, the chimes were going off right now, that would probably help it fill up faster. Come on now! Okay, so that's not working. Now if I squat, that's what starts a, a song. Can I... See, it won't let me play and fill up the, the thing. And that won't work. That's not going near fast enough. Oh, there it goes. That's starting to speed up. And the chimes are playing right now, too, so I wonder if that's helping. Okay, so let's try this one, one more time. <laughs> Drum, chime. Now to play the play the flute like a mad pig. Starting to come on, fill up. I guess the chimes playing earlier is what was helping. Oh, there we're starting to get a little speed. Come on, come on, come on. I see the totem pole; it's getting like smoke on it or something. Okay, so, that, nope, it was drum and then chime. I don't know why I can't remember that. Drum, chime, drum, oh, so the smoke says it failed. So now, drum, chime, there we go, now we're getting ahead of the timer. Come on now, we can do this. It's like you have to get a certain rhythm down or something. Which is kind of cool. That makes sense. Are you guys going to be Buffalo? <laughs> awesome! It's where the Buffalo roam. So if I feed you, are you going to become a bigger Buffalo? Yeah? It's like baby cows, but baby Buffalo. <laughs> awesome. So now what I'm going to have to do is wait for these guys to get bigger so that then we can smack them with a with a weapon and then that will let us go ahead and get let's see what did we end up needing let's back up let's check our advancements buffalo hide we're going to need to collect their hide and teeth and that's going to let us do the spooky boss battle it's also going to let us make the gears and that okay so tell you what i'm going to do i am going to breed some of these guys and get probably drag a couple more cows over here and once i can get that going then i'll bring you back and we'll smack a few of these and get some of their drops and start a crafting so as soon as i start recording it literally started raining i mean literally literally <laughs> but if reorganize this area just a little bit went ahead and, and got some more leaves we'll move the tree over here and in the video the guy had three chimes and i wanted to see if maybe three chimes meant that each of them would randomly go off at different times so you can see these two are going off but this one isn't so we increase the chances of a chime playing by three which should help and i also did some tests and i found that if a if a totem pole is with uh, no farther away, so it's like the fifth block. So one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three. Yeah, I think if 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 the drum was the fourth block away, the totem would still receive energy. So we can we have this nice little setup. So that looks good. And I've also got these pins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to breed buffalo in here. You can pick up the babies, but if you notice, I can't pick up this adult. It's it's too big. So we can breed a baby, pick it up bring it over here and these that grow up we can kill and we can leave these alone these can be our breeding buffalo that way we never run out of course i get the feeling that once we move on to the next uh, age we may not need half of this stuff but you know whatever <laughs> we're gonna just play it out so i wanted to try something a drought ceremony use a flute and a rattle so i want to see if i can do this maybe we can make the rain go away that would be awesome so let's get the rattle so it's, you squat, right? So squat, flute, rattle. Yeah, buddy, look at that. I can just hold the right click. Oh, go piggy, go. Go piggy, go. Play that drum. <laughs> and maybe with these chimes right here as well, that's really helping. Is it gonna make the rain go away? Rain, rain, go away, cause piggy said so. 
That's really cool. I love that. Oh, man. Okay, so I also did this. You can put a lead on a buffalo, and you can lead the buffalo around, which is really awesome. And then you can attach them here. So you can use buffalo for that. Now, I don't have it with me. I did a test where I put a, a log right here, and the pig took two circles to chop it. And when I attached a buffalo, it took two circles to chop it. It didn't seem to go any faster. So um, it didn't seem like there was any speed advantage or anything like that to, um, to using a buffalo versus a pig. So let's see here. What, what was the one that gave us strength? Was it the wolf? No? Well, these are dances that cause things to happen. What I haven't been able to figure out is... Um, Okay, so I've got this carved as a wolf. I wish that these carved and you could see like an animal or a creature. So like I carved this one to be the wolf, which was uh, the one that gave us strength. I think it was. Let's back up. Totems and effects. Totem effect. Wolf gives you strength. So I carved it as a wolf, but it doesn't look like a wolf. And I don't know how to like give it power to make it. See how that, that shows up? But I don't know how to make that turn into a wolf. So it'd be nice to have the wolf to have some strength. But you know what? We're just going to go for it. I've slept in that teepee, so I've set my spawn. Let's also do this. Let's make sure you can't run out in there. Because we don't want to chase you all over the place. And here, here we go. A buffalo. Hopefully he doesn't attack me. Oh, wow. Okay, he doesn't do much of anything. He just sits there. Oh, there he goes. Run, dude, run! <laughs> you got caught by the torch. I made the advancement. Ancient animals. Sorry, sir, but you had to give your all so that... And it gave me a cow pelt. It should have given me buffalo hide, but I did get three buffalo teeth. So what did we need? What did we need all that mess for? Let's go back to... it. Nope. Let's go to advancements. Okay, so we're going to need to call the, the Baycock to do the boss fight. I think we'll do that next episode because what I need to do is figure out how to make, how to make that thing work so I can get ranged uh, powers so they can make me stronger so I can do the fight and we can also get some, uh, maybe some better armor or something going. Now, what else was there to make gears? What was the gear? What was the gear recipe? Four. We need four teeth. Okay, so I have... I've got one more buffalo right here. Let's go ahead and do this so we can make the gear. You, sir, you're going to have to give your all so we can make a gear. I'm sorry, but blame it on the mod maker. That's how he made it. Boop. There we go. Oh, nice. We dropped some extra stuff that time. A buffalo hide. Awesome. And, okay, some more, some more teeth. So we got enough teeth this time. It'll be nice when I can make gates. We won't have to keep doing that. So... Did I bring... Yes, okay. I'm like, uh-oh. I'm going to be stuck in here. <laughs> that would not be good. Let's get these planks down, the safety gate. So four planks and four teeth will give us a gear. And I think that gear is going to let us make that crusher. Hello, tree. You're kind of in the way, but we'll go with it. So was that it? Yes. Okay. Awesome. We'll put the teeth in the corners. There we go. And one more tooth, just a, just for a leftover, I guess. And it's not crafting. Did I do it wrong? Cedar planks. It has to be cedar planks. It must be cedar planks. So let's see here. We've got just a few more minutes left in the episode. Let's see if we can figure out how to make cedar... Uh, a red cedar sapling. It's acquired via totemic ceremony, bonsai trees. I don't know what that means. Maybe there's a thing where we can make bonsai. So let's go back to this totem basics, red cedar tree. Zeph kill waltz ceremony. It can be obtained by infusing mundane saplings with musical energy. So I wonder if I was to just place a uh, place a sapling on the ground. Where did they go? I bet I put them back in the cart. Now, the only thing I'm uh, concerned about is if I place this thing on the ground and then I make it uh, infused, is it going to like 
grow and go crazy? Nope. Do I hold it in my hand? I don't know. You know what? With the episode going long, and I don't know what in the world I do, I'm do. i doing, I'm going to do some research. I'm going to do a little bit of research and make sure we don't destroy anything making this tree. But we're going to try and get that tree so we can make... Let's see. What's it going to let us do? What's it going to let us do? We, nope. Advancements to advancements. It's going to let us make uh, a millstone from better mods. So let's let's see what a millstone does. I bet a millstone's gonna let us make that hopper, right? Not milson. <laughs> Mill millstone. Mill. Okay, that'll work. Ooh, what are you? A hand crank. Okay. A millstone. So that. Let's let's go back here. I bet it's this. The frame flame grilled whopper. Wrong button, Peggy. Wrong button. Come on now. People are waiting. Not a whopper, a hopper. <laughs> so that, see the charcoal dust? Crusher, quartz grindstone, millstone. There we go. Okay, look. So if I build a millstone, we can put the charcoal in there and get the charcoal dust. And that'll let us make those. And then that will let us get to right here. Ace of Melter Base. Awesome. So unless more things are going to start unlocking, it looks like next episode we can get this built. We can get that built. Let's see. I don't even know what we'll need to make that, but I'll look into it. And we might get ourselves a fight. So next episode, depending on how it goes, unless more unlocks, we might actually be done with Stone Age and be ready to move on to the next age. Progressing like a piggy boss, I tell you what. But I'm really loving this little area. I love the color and the way it looks. But if you like this, if you like this area, if you like this episode, if you love what happened, please click that like button. And if you want to see more of these as I release them, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna get ready for next episode, and I hope to see you then in the next episode. <laughs>